As you are beginning to read the Bible, make sure you get a translation that you can understand. I used to wonder which Bible translation is right. I mean, which translation is actually God's word? I know there's someone else out there that has wondered that. I used to think that. I used to wonder, God, which one is actually your word? Well, I learned that God's word works more like thought capsules than rigid order or a series of words. For example, here's how I have begun to look at God's word. If I say, Dustin dribbled the orange basketball, I could also convey this exact same thought by saying the basketball was orange and it was dribbled by Dustin, or the basketball dribbled by Dustin was orange. All of these statements are a little bit different, but they all convey the same thoughts. And God's word is thoughts put down on paper. Isaiah 55, eight says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. God is not limited to a certain order of words. Take 1 Peter 5, seven, for example. One translation reads in the NIV, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. The NLT or the New Living Translation reads, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. And the New King James Version says, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. So which one is right? All of them. They all convey the same thought that God cares about you. And because he cares about you, you can give your anxieties, your worries, and your cares to him, trusting that he's going to take care of them for you. The problem is not the translations being different. The only problem is when people change the thought or the meaning behind what God was trying to say. So as far as which Bible is right, pray about it. Ask Jesus to help you pick a translation that he thinks would be best for you to understand. I think we overlook this stuff sometimes. We have these really small decisions that we think may be small and maybe they aren't. And we think, well, God doesn't want to get involved. Man, I'm telling you, God wants to get involved in every decision. He will help you pick the best translation. Just ask him and ask him to lead you to the best translation for you. I personally started with the New Living Translation, which is one of the easiest to understand for beginners and it has its limitations, but it's a good place to start. Or another good place is the NIV. Uh, that's another good one you could start with. I mostly read the New King James Version right here. See, it's New King James or the NIV. When I'm studying, I'll look at other translations, but those are the main two that I read. God is not looking for you to do everything right or everything perfect. He is looking for a relationship. So if you are trying, God is not going to be upset with you over which translation you choose to read. So don't get legalistic. The most important thing about reading the Bible is what I'm about to tell you. God looks at the heart. He doesn't need you to be perfect. He just wants you to be willing. If you think God can only use perfect people, take a moment and look throughout the Bible and find me one perfect person that God used in the Bible. And I'm going to give you a spoiler though. There was only one and it was Jesus. God used King David and Peter and Paul. Any person you find that wasn't Jesus, they weren't perfect. God was just looking for them to be willing to let him use them. Paul had people killed. Peter chopped someone's ear off and rejected Jesus. David had an affair and had the guy, the husband murdered. You haven't messed up so bad that God cannot and will not still do something great in your life if you'll let him. The key is to be willing and to let him use you. He won't force you to do anything and you have to open the door and invite him in. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to read the Bible.